Hi everyone, and welcome to another video in our series on managing and maintaining your Kyocera Task Alpha MFPs. My name is Sam Hammond, Lead Product Trainer here at Boston Document Systems. Today's video, we're going to be going over how to set up your KX driver to utilize the local job accounting feature settings on your Kyocera MFP. Now, the job accounting features are generally used for a basic color uh, and usage tracking. This is set up likely during the time of install. Um, or it can be set up at a later date. There is another video in this series that details how to set up job accounting on both the copier uh, and how to generate reports as well in order to utilize the counts that you're getting. So this is done uh, from the driver side settings. We need to actually turn on the job accounting feature settings within the driver itself. Now, this is something that you as an end user can do. Uh, if, however, for some reason your driver is locked, uh, you don't have rights to make any changes, you're going to have to contact your IT administrator uh, or you can reach out to Boston Document Systems and we would be more than happy to work with your IT team in order to get the job accounting settings uh, enabled. Now, without further ado, let's get started. The first thing we want to do is we either want to go to printers and scanners or our control panel. I'm personally quite partial to the control panel. Uh, so once I'm here, I'm going to go to uh, my hardware and sound and then view devices and printers. Once I'm in here, uh, I'm going to find the copier in question that I need to turn this on. So I will right click and I'll make sure that I select printer properties, not properties. And after I've selected printer properties, I will open up this, this window here, and I will go to the Device Settings tab. Now, on the Device Settings tab, there's going to be an option down here labeled Administrator. I want to hit this button, and where it's going to take me to are a series of settings that are uh, usually, depending on how your driver is set up, locked by the administrator. Uh, in most scenarios, though, you might be able to get into here. If not, you'll have to contact your IT team to make some changes on the print driver on the server. And once again, uh, if you're not um, necessarily comfortable uh, passing that information along, you can always have your IT team reach out to our service line here at Boston Document Systems, and we'd be more than happy to help set this feature up. Now, I'll go to the Job Accounting tab. I'll make sure that the Job Accounting box is checked. The two primary modes uh, that Job Accounting is used, uh, the first is to have a specific Job Accounting ID used. This is great if prints are tracked by user. Uh, for example, John Smith will always be printing to John Smith's code, so we can hard code their job accounting code into the driver so that everything that is printed from this user's workstation will be tracked under that user's code. The next option is to have the machine uh, actually prompt you for an account ID. This is excellent for intra-departmental printing. Say, for example, the accounting uh, department also prints stuff for the human resources department, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and what this does is that when I go file print, it'll prompt me with a box where I can input uh, my numeric code, uh, and that will then track that job specifically to that code. Once you have chosen the method that you want to set up uh, your machine with, you'll select OK, and then OK again, and then you can close out of Control Panel. Now, uh, once this is done, you may need to close out of whatever instance of whatever applications you're in uh, in order for the settings to take effect, but you should see those happening almost immediately thereafter. I want to thank you for joining me today. Once again, my name is Sam Hammond, lead product trainer here for Boston Document Systems. And in today's video, we discussed how to enable job accounting on the KX driver on your printer for your Kyocera multifunction printer. I look forward to seeing you again soon, and have a great day.